Howdy folks. In this video, we're going to go over installing and using Chrome driver with WebDriver IO. Chrome driver basically, it's basically a REST server that accepts requests that WebDriver will send them. So basically behind the scenes, what WebDriver is doing is just sending API calls to Chrome driver. And that is all it's doing. A lot of people confuse this and want to install Selenium to do everything, but it's kind of overload. You don't need Selenium for the most part. If you want to use Selenium, you might need to use it for, or a reason to use Selenium would be for maybe to use Selenium Grid or something so you can have environments run Chrome and Firefox or something like that. But if you're developing locally, a lot of times you just need Chrome driver or Gecko driver or something like that. So that's what we're gonna do in this video today. And this will be all we need to, the only driver we need to get started. So basically Chrome driver, you can see, it'll accept a URL of something like this. Um, that's like a base URL and then a command to the server would be something like like foobar and then where foobar is actually some kind of random ID of an actual element. So this is actually checking if the element is selected. This is all done behind the scenes by WebDriver. So you don't have to worry about this. Um, this is kind of just an overview of what, what, what the server is actually doing. So this is just Literally an API call to Chrome driver is what WebDriver sends. Um, so that's out of the way. Let's install Chrome driver. We can go to the Chrome driver. We're gonna install Chrome driver through NPM. You go to the Chrome driver homepage um, and NPM install Chrome driver. So let's do that now. We're gonna install it gro globally. Now let's make sure it's installed correctly. So we're on version 2.4.1. So good. So we've got it installed. So now let's start Chrome driver and let it run in the background. And all we have to do is we'll start it on port 4444. That's the default for WebDriver IO. Um, then the URL base. We will set to WD slash hub. This is also the base the WebDriver sets as well. Um, if you looked from before with the URL I had, you had that prefix in there. So let's run this. Let's also do, turn on verbose and run it. So now our, our Chrome driver is now running on our machine. So web it is listening now for requests from WebDriver. One thing to note about Chrome driver is the version of Chrome driver is dependent on the version of Chrome itself. So if you come to the download page of Chrome driver, you can see we're on 2.4.1 that that supports Chrome version 67 to 69. If you look at 2.4.0, that only supports 68 or 66 through 68. If you have a version of Chrome driver that doesn't match a supported version of Chrome, sometimes you'll try to run the test and you'll get like an error connection refused or something like that. And most of the time when you see that, that's because you have an incompatible Chrome and Chrome driver version. 